Buddy, I trust Back again like I never left Young son, I said that's to the death We turned up till we go deaf Rep, rap, pack to my last breath I cut records like Kid Cudi Day and night, that's all the time for What's the up guys, PT here And this is the review of the glorious GMMK 60% compact keyboard and all i have to say guys is this year glorious is not playing around at all i think they have some elves making their products up at the north pole or something because this is just straight magic they've been killing the game thus far in 2019 and we're only just hitting march i once said that the mass drop alt was the last 60 percent keyboard that you would ever need to buy i know it's 65 percent but yeah okay just bear with me here well guys, this keyboard definitely makes a serious attempt at taking away that title. You can buy a pre-built one for about $110 and $60 for the starting base model with no switches or keycaps. You can then add switches for about $30 to $50 depending on which ones you get. And another $20 to $25 for the regular keycaps or the Aura keycaps with see-through sides. So guys, enough about pricing. Let's talk about the great features of this keyboard. All right, so in the box you find the keyboard, an L-shaped USB micro adapter, a sexy gold-plated USB braided cord, an escape and Windows key, and some replacement feet for the bottom of the keyboard. Also included is a switch puller to help you with pulling out those switches because this keyboard is hot swappable i haven't mentioned that yet and we'll get more into what that means a little bit later on now out of the box this keyboard has a very nice weight to it with its black sandblasted aluminum faceplate and aluminum base it has a usb micro connector on the back left side now i do like usb c over usb micro because it's a little bit more future proof but i found a workaround guys for my custom cable I use a USB-C to USB micro adapter that's like five bucks and I'll link it down below. Shh, don't tell anybody that secret. Just keep that between me and you, my amazing subscribers. All right, guys. I mean, that's one reason why you subscribe to me, right? Because this little secret can save you a ton of time and money. You don't have to go out and buy another custom cable. On the back side of the keyboard, it's got two kickstand feet for those of us who like to have our keyboards up a little bit higher, myself included. And there's also a keycap switcher. Wait, what? Yes, you're seeing that correctly. There is a keycap puller on the back side of the keyboard. They've really thought of everything when designing this keyboard. So, you know, like me, I always misplace these and uh, now I won't anymore because I will know exactly where it is. The keyboard feet are nice and grippy. And like I mentioned earlier, they have an extra set in the box if they ever come off or they wear down, but these seem like they are pretty good quality. Along the bottom side of the keys, you've got your function row. They've got some multimedia keys and a function row and arrow keys. The keys themselves are ABS double shot injection. PPT is my favorite, but I must admit guys, these do feel better than most mainstream keyboards out there. The double shot plastic on the back isn't that great and it kind of gets in the way of some of that lettering, but you know, out of sight, out of mind, when you're gaming, you're not gonna be looking down and seeing it. It's only like a little thing. I actually thought it was a part of the lettering at first until I inspected it further. I thought it was just a font. No, nah, they kind of messed up on the uh, double shot there. Now, one remedy to this is that you can just get a bare keyboard with just the switches, no keycaps, and save some money and put that towards another keycap set to make this keyboard your own. Now, the pre-built version of this keyboard comes with some of my personal favorites, the Gatoron Browns. Incoming sound test in three, two, one. The Gatorround Browns are a great in-between if you want some kind of feedback when you're typing and gaming. I used to hate them, but as time goes on and I use them more and more, I've come to appreciate Browns for what they are. But what puts this in contention for the title of the last keyboard you'll ever have to buy is that it's PCB Hot Swappable allowing you to change any Cherry MX or Gatoron or Cali box switch of your choice and put it into this keyboard within seconds. This keyboard is the answer to a commonly asked question that I get so often. I get this question a lot. Hey BT, I have X 60% keyboard. I love the keyboard, but I hate the switches. Can I change them out? 
Yes, you can, but that involves some unsoldering and soldering the new switches, which will cost you time and money. Well, you still have to spend money here to get some new switches, but you can save a lot of time by getting this PCB hot swappable keyboard. Using the included switch puller, it's a breeze to just take out and swap out your new switches. I have a sampler switch pack here, which I use to like test out many different switches from like Cherry MX to a Box Cali switch and uh, yeah. This way you'll never get tired of your keyboard. You can just keep on switching out the keycaps and switches when you get bored. It's like a wise man once said, variety is the spice of life. Don't ask me who said that. The stabilizers on these keyboards are pretty good. Way better than the $150 Vortex poker. Yikes. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop a sound test for you guys right now on the stabilizers. I like that while they did make the base exposed, they kept it black instead of that white, which I love the look of, which is one of the main gripes that I had with the Vortex Poker. The RGB on this keyboard is still vibrant as any keyboard on the market, even with that RGB not reflecting so much off of a white base and just the keycaps. So for all of you RGB fans out there, you won't be disappointed, let me tell you. Now from the keyboard, you can do it manually and just do function, F, C, G, B, V, and H, and these will change the RGB modes. Each one of those keys has like three different cycles and variants that you can go through. Like I really have to say guys, uh, this keyboard has some of my favorite RGB modes of any keyboard I've tried thus far. You can control the RGB also using the software that's downloadable from their website and set up the color configuration to your liking with ease as well. You can speed up the rate and the brightness as well as affecting the USB report rate as well. In the software, you can also control the macros. I think this is the portion of the software that needs a little bit of work for programming macros. Yes, you can program macros, but it's a little unintuitive in my opinion. But this is an easy fix from Glorious with future updates. I'm definitely gonna give them some feedback on this and uh, we just need a way to just drag and drop our macros or multimedia keys onto the key presses to see like a visual representation of the macro. It's a small thing but it could be big when it comes to ease of use of this keyboard for beginners. In the end though guys, this is a great alternative to a lot of the hard to get 60% keyboards on the market right now. And it's easily accessible guys. It's, you can buy it right now, it's in stock. Yes, you heard that right, it's in stock. It's $70 cheaper than the hard to get mass drop alt and has some of the same features. Hey, what's not to love about this? This keyboard will check off a lot of boxes for you guys. It's got that 60% keyboard form factor, hot swappable switches, a great solid base, great feeling ABS keys. It doesn't have USB-C, but like I said, just use that workaround. I'll link that down below if you haven't uh, checked it out already or seen it before. I'll link it, it's like five bucks. This keyboard might actually be keeping a spot on my desk. Time will tell, guys. And as always, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, there will be a setup tour very, very soon. I promise you guys, and uh, I'm juiced for that. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It has been your boy, BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and sub. Wait, did I say that already? I always mess this up, uh, I think. All right, peace.